I haven't had my best night's sleep and uh, this is the, the reasoning here. Last night I had two uh, young hedgehogs brought in, little hoglets, who are tremendously cold and uh, they're actually found on the road. And the, the people that found them waited a while to see if their mother came back for them, which is always the right thing to do. Um, but she didn't come back unfortunately, so I ended up with them last night and they're, they were very cold and quite lifeless and it was a case of then bringing them round and as you can see we've got two quite happy little hoglets here wriggling away uh, so these were very cold very still last night so i had to warm them up and it was about half past 12 last night i managed to give them their first feed and as you can see they're raring to go for another feed every two hours uh, they're getting uh, esbalac milk and that's just given to them through a syringe and uh, I can tell they want more. It's important that I weigh them just to check that I'm doing my job right and feeding them enough. So we're just going to weigh them uh, one at a time. We'll weigh the smallest one first. Feels quite light that one. So that one's uh, just over 50 grams, 53 grams. We'll keep weighing that over the next few days, seeing how it goes. And then we've got the bigger one here, and uh, that one's feeling much heavier. Around about 70 grams, 71 grams, so that's, uh, that's really good. And we're going to keep weighing them over the next few days and just check them doing my job right, giving them enough, to, enough milk, and then when their eyes are open, we'll be getting them onto solids. But it's important now just to keep them warm and safe so the heat mats underneath, uh, and we've got carpet in there, we've got towels, a blanket, so they're gonna be nice and uh, cozy in there, and I'll just keep checking them throughout the night. And they make this really unusual high-pitched squeak, almost like a bird when they're hungry. But usually I can preempt that and just feed them every two to three hours and uh, keep them going that way. But they are pretty adorable little things, it has to be said. <laughs> I'm six foot two, farmer's son, and uh, yeah, your heart kind of melts when you see these little hedgehogs. So I'll just give them a feed now. Surprising how much milk they can take. So uh, just put it into a syringe. There's a little teat on the end of it for make it easy. And this uh, looks easy now. But last night in the middle of the night with two. Uh, cold hedgehogs it was this was very difficult because what we don't want to do is to uh, flood their lungs because that would be pretty disastrous so we've got to make sure that these little hoglets are actually swallowing and taking the milk otherwise we're just firing milk in there and we can uh, make them really poorly by flooding the lungs and that's literally the last thing they need if they've been out I'm just going to give the larger one uh, some more food, some more milk, and these little hoglets would be definitely still very dependent on the mother at this age, so uh, it's a really shame they've got separated somehow. We'll pop them in, they'll have a little explore around and uh, probably have another sleep. After feeding they often uh, mm. sleep just like uh, human babies, you know, young animals have some food and then he's, uh, he's looking a bit sleepy already, isn't he, look? So we'll pop him down and uh, cover him over and uh, we'll give him another feed in another few hours. But he's looking really well. They're both well fed now and all we need is a little help from you guys. We've got two females here, one's big, one's small. Uh, what do you think we should call them? <laughs>